Alistair Cook can now rest in peace. Prosecutors say he was one of many people whose body parts were harvested without permission or proper medical screening. But now, the ringleader of the scheme, Michael Mastro Moreno, seen here in court earlier this year, has been sentenced to 18 to 54 years in prison. Three others who worked with him were also charged, and so were a number of funeral directors in several states. Prosecutors say the scheme dates back to 2001. They would, in conjunction with funeral directors who would divert bodies that were either going to be buried or um, cremated to Mastro Marino. Mastro Marino would then uh, employ these various cutters, we call them, who would extract the bones from the body and other tissue, like tendons, etc., and uh, would then uh, sell those bones and tissue to a um, processing company down in Florida and other places in the South. The body parts were then sold around the country for dental implants, knee and hip replacements, and other procedures. In many instances, the missing body parts were replaced with PVC piping. Authorities say about 10,000 people received body parts from Master Marino's New Jersey-based company, Biomedical Tissue Services. The family of Brian Lichen says he died after receiving a bad tissue transplant. He was a healthy 23-year-old boy that went in for just a a routine surgery and the bacteria that they put into him with this tissue literally killed him in four days. Sir, can you comment on the case? Authorities say one cutter who worked for Mastro Moreno was sentenced earlier this month to 9 to 27 years in prison. And a second cutter, Lee Crusita, pleaded guilty and faces up to 20 years in prison. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.